Hello, hi everybody. So this is an update and uh, today is actually the start of Burning Man and today we should officially be in a very gigantic long queue with all the other sort of campers and RVers um, ready to join Black Rock City but we are still unfortunately stuck in beautiful Amarillo. I have to say there were worse places to be stuck. We've had an interesting time with our RV called Blue but Despite it breaking down, what we've both learnt through this journey so far is the people that we've made friends with. If we hadn't have been weighed late in Florida, we wouldn't have made great friends with Seth and Jody. And if we hadn't have been waylaid in Amarillo, we would never would have met Pablo and we would have never have met Paul, who are realtors here, who have overwhelmed us massively with their kindness, their generosity. They've gone above and beyond. Like both me and Stephen are absolutely, we don't know what to say. So um, I've got a bit of heat rash. It is, I think, nearly 100 degrees today. I've got a little bit of pink eye as well. The universe has definitely been interesting. Um, but let me tell you about our day and what's been happening so far. So on Thursday, we break down and um, we literally got about 30 minutes outside of the city of um, Amarillo, broke down, got a recovery truck, and then it pulled us back in town to an absolutely amazing um, mechanic shop called SNL Automotives. Again, so friendly. As soon as we got there, they located the problem. It wasn't as bad as we thought, but it was still going to be time consuming. Um, they lent us their car so that we could drive and get some food and look around so we wouldn't have to sit and wait, which is again mighty generous of, of them. They didn't have to. Um, then we stayed overnight because it was about five o'clock when we took it into them. Um, spent the night, they worked all day on it. At the end of the day, they did a couple of test runs. There was a minor popping well, it seemed to be struggling a little bit with gas but after the second test run it seemed to be okay and that was about half six which was past their opening time just to make sure that we would be on our way on Friday anyway and that's also when we met Pablo I forgot to say that whilst we were waiting part of the day Pablo who was a customer of theirs came in took pity on us and that's how we made friends he took us out for burgers took us out to route 66 it's actually Pablo who kind of saved us the second time around. So when we were again trying to get out of Amarillo, about 30 minutes past Amarillo, we're starting to laugh now that we're in the Amarillo Triangle or something. We basically started to see the kind of fuel struggling to get to the engines. We thought, you know what, we better turn around because we're just about to go to New Mexico where it's about 200 miles until the next town. So we just started to turn around and it completely died on us. We had no reception. Um, Steve had to climb on top of the RV, put his hand in the air just to be able to call somebody. And the only person who num whose number we had because he gave us his card was Pablo. And he came to the rescue. Um, we managed to somehow get the, it star started again. It did manage to get to um, Pablo's house and it stayed overnight and the, hospi the hospitality, I should say, of Pablo and Paul, they, uh, they invited us into their home to stay. Like, it feels very overwhelming when I think about the help that they've given us. So we spent the night, it was on Saturday, and not a lot of things are open that are mechanical related, including the automotive shop that fixed it in the first place. So we called our um, FMCA membership um, to get roadside assistance. They struggled a lot <laughs> to find somebody to come and then somebody was going to come, then they weren't going to come, then they was going to come. Anyway, we tinkered a bit throughout the day um, with a few things and it seemed to start again. It seemed to be getting fuel to the pump. So we were like, you know what, shall we try and, try and take a little mini test run with it? So just in case we'd remedied the problem ourselves. Let's say the test run didn't go very, very well because we ended up in the middle of a highway. Um, didn't even get to the lay-by, it just died. Um, the 
the people again of Amarillo are so nice. Um, two guys with their very large Jeep dragged the RV um, into a Walgreens and then Pablo again waited with us. We completely took up his Saturday. He waited with us hours until we could get another roadside recovery, which on a Saturday was proving really, really difficult. And then about nine o'clock in the evening, after we'd start, set off about two, somebody finally came and dragged us back. And um, so now we are just spending our time here because they took the vehicle back to basically the first um, SNL Automotive to so that when they open on Monday they can have a relook at things. Um, so we're definitely going to be late for Burning Man, but we are going to go there still, even if it's late, we're still going. Fingers crossed. <laughs> so no, we're now staying with the lovely, again, Paul and Pablo here in Amarillo. Um, their kindness, again, has been beyond words. Um, they've lent us their Jeep. They have let us and trusted us in their house. Um, they've been so funny, they've lifted our spirits, they've made us see the better side of things. Um, they also are RV owners and have been in a similar situation and due to that they have helped us because hopefully one day or in the past when they've been in trouble people have helped them. And I know now that I've learned a lesson about how amazing the people of Amarillo in particular are but also about generosity, kindness and how far it can go. Anyway, I'll update you again soon. Take care. Oh, and by the way, we visited the most beautiful canyon today. I'll just show you some footage of that now. Take care.